are you? So you guys, who are you? Who are you? What have you done to her? Ah. No, 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 Ah, this fire is too much. Ah, no, 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 no. What have you done to her? Ah. Oh. Ah. 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 Why she, why, 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 why will he cause me? She cause me. He cause me. He cause me. So who are you? Ah. I know, but I shot two. I shot two for me. I destroy her life. Why will she so down to so close more than me? Why? Why? d'avoir détruit sa vie. Tu es où 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 Tu es before, but I don't know what come over her. Since over six years, that everything has changed. That up to the extent that she have to beg before she eats. In fact, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Who is she to you? She's my immediate elder sister. Okay, so what the whisper is saying? Yes, everything the whisper is saying is true. She's a nice person. She has been doing great in the family, helping people. But one of the sudden, everything just changed. I don't know. Jesus Christ will restore now. So who you are? Who are you? Who else you? You cannot take her from me. You cannot take her from me. Jesus wants ah. her to be free. Ah. Fire in the name of Jesus. Hold my body. Your head. Ah. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Fire in the name of Jesus. Now come out of her. Out! Out! Fight in the name of Jesus Christ. Observe the manifestation of the spirit of the in the life of this woman. Out in the name of Jesus. Observe the deliverance. Out! Fight in the name of Jesus Christ. The deliverance of this woman, of the emprise of the spirit of the In Jesus' name. Out! Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Stand up, you are free. Declarada libre para la gloria de Dios. Declaré libre para la gloria de Dios. Observe the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Observe the manifestation. This family is being free for the glory of God. Who are you in this body? Who are you? You are what? Fire in the body. Name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Who are you? You say what? Who are you in this body? Who is he to you, man? He's my brother. There was a time he traveled out and he came back with nothing. <laughs> oh my God. And he's a stubborn person. <laughs> Who is my he? My head up, there was a time he traveled out to Italy. He came back with nothing also. Yes, ma. Please, who is he to you? It's my elder brother. There was a time he traveled out. He came back with nothing. Who is the cause? Tell us who is the cause? <sighs> who is the cause? <sighs> Speak out, who are you? <sighs> who are you in this body? <sighs> How do you operate in him? Ça veut dire que la délivrance au nom de Jésus. How do you operate in him? You say what? How do you operate in him? Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. How do you operate in him? Fire in the name of Jesus. Out. Fire 
mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Observa la familia siendo liberada de ese espíritu de ídolos. Son todos libres para la gloria de Dios. People of God, let's put our hands together for Jesus. And that was how that family was liberated to the glory of God. And they are here today to share with us their wonderful testimony. You're welcome to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Please introduce yourself. Introduce the people standing beside you and share with us your wonderful testimony. Children of God, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. My name is Faith Inegbe. I'm here with my brothers and my, my mommy, my siblings are here. The problem that brought me, I want to thank God for healing me from family and from family bondage. Family idol, the family idol have been tormenting my life and my family life. Even when from my childhood, the family idol has been tormenting me. It has been tormenting my family. To the extent when I finish, I manage up to finish up my secondary school. After then, I go, I go and learn work. After learning of my work, the family idol has been tormenting us. It has been tormenting my brothers, my sister, all my siblings. If we are not happy to ourselves, the family idol has made every one of us to depart to depart, even when I want to get married, man, uh, I'm not seeing partner, man is not coming to my way, my, my, uh, my siblings, they have to call me and say, oh, what happened? Nobody is coming your way. I said, I didn't see anybody, nobody approached me. And I'm no longer, you are no longer a baby, nobody approached you. But the family I do has been tormenting me, he has been, in fact, to feed is a problem, Everything about me, in fact, I don't understand my life. To the extent that God now helped me, I got married. Even my husband, the family, I was as if I had my own problem to my husband own. The family problem, the family, I do now was to the extent that my husband is even walking dead. But when we get married, everything now got worse. So, so that period, the dream, I dream a lot of dream. That a masquerade will chase me on my dream. My masquerade will chase me, will beat me up. After beating me up, all my body will fill up with mark. After some days, the mark will wipe away. And I dream uh, sometimes what we hungry, hungry, what I will feel like eating physically. I will not see it and eat physically, but I will, when I sleep, like, I will dream that yes, I'm eating it in dream. Anything that I feel like eating physically. The family I do have been tormenting me to the extent that where I'm, like I managed, let God, God blessed me a little, then I now open the shop. I have the apprentices, apprentices. I, I have a lot of customers that are coming to come and sew from me. They do come. I will sew from them different kinds of meeting. I will sew their blouse. They will bring it. I will sew it. I will send it back to them in home. They both one particular person do come and collect my working tools. If you come, I will give her my walking tools, not until one day. And I said, I said, how much are they selling this particular walking tools that she will be coming to collect from me every time? So I have to, the, she now, there is a day, she now came, I said, no, I cannot give you this, I cannot give you this walking tools. Ah, no, how much are they selling it? Go and get it. I can mean myself that I said it, I know that yes. I didn't say, I didn't say it in a polite way to her. So after then, I observed that ah, things are not going well. 
Even my customers, I don't longer see my, they don't come to me again. Things just change. Everything is as if things now start getting more worse than before. To the extent that I've begged before eating, time to pay my shop rent, no money to pay my shop rent. I start looking for what to do, no way. I have to pack all my machine, everything to put in somewhere for me to find way if I will see what to do. Then I pack everything. When I will go back on my way, go back to the place that I want to pack all everything. I find out that the person said, ah, this is this place I kept it and I didn't find it anymore. That was how I lost everything. All my working, all my working tools, all my machine. I have various machines, about six different kinds of machine. So that is how the family I do have been tormenting me. It tormented me to the extent that I don't know what to do. Not until when I have a, it, it affects my head to the extent that uh, I talk, I've, I breathe, I breathe so fast, I have high blood pressure to the extent that I do have AD constantly. I talk to people anyhow. Anytime I dream about that, I dream that that masculine is chasing me, I do go angry. If someone talks to me, it's as if I want to, I want to hit the person. I talk to people anyhow because of that. That problem, anytime I dream, I do talk to people and I do react to people anyhow. That is how the family, I do have been tormenting my life to feed, to eat. We run and task it. I will go and be begging before eating. I will call my siblings to send me money before eating. I and my family. Not until when they now call, I have a call that my younger brother Friday has been delivered from Synagogue Church of All Nations. I said, well, I was so excited because this particular person we are talking about, it has been long we saw her. Every one of us, we have to avoid her because of due to I, uh, the way she's living. I don't know that it's the family I do that is tormenting his life that way. So every one of us, we depart from him. Not until when they called me. I said, I want to come and witness. I didn't believe, but I said, I want to come and witness what happened. So I just came, I came, wish I came last week, Sunday. Immediately I came to this place when the man of God is praying, the evangelist is praying, as he's praying, he got to my, my, where I'm standing. Immediately he wants to put his hand on my head, I, I, I dodge him. Immediately I dodge him, he said he came back to me. He now fixed his hand on top of my head. That was when I feel that something removed out of, go away out of me. I feel relieved. Immediately I said, what happened? That was when I now screamed and fell down. Children of God, praise the Lord. Emmanuel. People of God, let's put our hands together for Jesus. You mean that was how you got your deliverance to the glory of God? Yes. So tell us, before your deliverance, how did this family idol affect the family, the unity of the family? What was the family like before? Hmm. In fact, the family, we are not happy to ourselves. Everybody, when we see each other, we keep that. Is, we, I don't know what to say. Every one of us, when we see ourselves, we, are, we keep fighting ourselves. We keep gossiping ourselves. In fact, the family I do have been tormenting our life to the extent that we can, sometimes we can stay two years and we not see ourselves because of this family I do. We are not happy to ourselves. And now, after your deliverance, what are those changes that you've noticed in your life and in the life of your family as a whole? Hmm. I noticed so many things. Okay, look at me now. Okay, so people can see it yourself. Look at us. We are together. We are in unity. I don't believe God has not, um, God has not healed us. We will not come together this way. Even me, myself, in my compound, there, they are asking me, this is why you are so excited. What happened? I said to the glory of God, because I know God has healed us, has set us free totally. Emmanuel. People of God, let's put our hands together for Jesus. That clap is not enough for the miracle working God. So what about those dreams that you were having before your deliverance? After your deliverance, do you still have those dreams? No, 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 no. I've not had any dreams since when. Those evil dreams that I do dream, since ever then, I've not dreamed any of it. Since ever then. Well, people of God, let's put our hands together for Jesus once again. 
So with what God Almighty has done for you, what do you have to say about Jesus Christ himself? And what advice do you have to those that are listening to you? My advice to you people, just put your faith and put your trust in God. When you put your trust and faith in God, and when you put your, because even me myself, I didn't believe that this church, synagogue church of all nations, that things are happening this way, not until when I got to this place. And I get my totally healing. Healing. God healed me from family problem. I'm free. My sister and my brother, when you put your trust in him and you put your faith and you believe that, yes, miracle is happening in this church, church of church synagogue here, you will receive your healing. Every one of you will receive your healing one after the other. Children of God, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's put hands together for Jesus. And indeed, God Almighty has delivered you and stepped into your case fall. And we pray that this deliverance you received will remain permanent in Jesus' name. So let's listen to your brother. Sir, you're welcome to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Kindly introduce yourself. Tell us your name. Introduce the people beside you and share with us your testimony. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. My name is Fred Inegbe. People beside me is my siblings and my mom and my wife and my kids. My sister have said it all. Everything that they have said. This family also have been tormenting our life since I was small. Since I was small. So I do smoke. I do drink. I humanize. I go to clubs. I go to club. I drink. Even though if I, if I work, I make money, I will call, my friends will come around me, I will buy them drink, I will buy them smoke, I will spend, I will, I will feed them, I will feed them. So things are getting worse. To the extent that I have the opportunity to travel out the country, I travel out the country and I work there too, I can't, I can't even give account of my money. I will take the money, I will spend it, I will go to club, I will, fr- I will dash people money, I will smoke. I do smoke colors, I smoke uh, loud. Sometimes I smoke five frap of colors a day, six frap of colors, more than, more than six frap of colors a day. I don't know what is happening to me all the time. Even to the extent that anytime I make money, I will spend the money outside, I will come back home and I will ask of money from my wife, I will start beating my wife, my wife will not give me money, I will beat her, I will shout at her, I give me money, I need money. My wife will start, my wife will start crying. Uh, what is happening? What is happening? All the time, things are rough for me. So they said, I now went to my friend for solution. I said, ah, look at my problem though. Things are not moving well for me. What will I do? My friend now take me to a spiritual house and Babalawo. So I should do some spiritual things and uh, say so I should bring some money that will do some spiritual things for me. I give them the money. The thing is seem worse. To the extent that I don't even know what to do. Again. See, when they call us that, see, when they call, call me that my junior brother, they have delivered him from synagogue. Now, now rush down, last, that is last week Sunday, I came to synagogue to testify the goodness of God with my brother. The man of God, man of God, when the man of God was so you washing, mean? You mean to say that God Almighty delivered your brother in the synagogue church of all nations? Yes. So they now called me to come and testify with him. And now come, when we are standing by, this, by that side, the man of God, the evangelist, now walk towards my side. They want to touch me as my side. They want to touch me and now remove my face. And now come back and tap my head. There is something that will move out from my body. That I catch this cold. Very cold, move out from my body. I said, what is this? Before I know again, I started fearing. I, I cannot look the man face anymore. So who is this person? Who is this person? Who is this person? I can't look his face anymore. See, when I get my own deliverance to, through, my, through the uh, Synagogue Church of God Nation. And that was how you received your deliverance yeah. by God Almighty through the evangelist last week Sunday. 
Yes. People of God, let's put our hands together for Jesus. And tell us that since your deliverance last week Sunday, what are those changes you've noticed in yourself? And what is the relationship like now between you and your wife? The changes since last week Sunday, at least those things I do before, I don't do them no more. Like the humanizing is, I cannot even look human anymore. Smoking is just smelling me in my mouth, my nose. Anybody that is smoking now is killing himself. Even the thing even affect my head. I cannot breathe well. I can I can I do cough, hard cough. Even in the night I can't sleep. One o'clock, two o'clock, I'll be at wake, looking everywhere, finding where to see the colors to smoke. I call them 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the night to bring me colors to smoke or loud if I want to smoke. But to the glory of God, I've got my healing here now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. People of God, let's put our hands together for Jesus. So now with this wonderful thing that God Almighty has done for you, what is your word of encouragement to the millions of people listening to you now? The word of advice for those who are listening to me now is any situation that you are facing, any outdoor that is disturbing you in your family, just put hope that God is number one person, is the final solution that will solve your problem for you. So let's listen to your wife. Ma'am, you're welcome to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Please introduce yourself, introduce the people standing next to you, and tell us briefly what you have to say regarding the deliverance your husband has received. Praise the Lord. My name is Enola Inegbismat. Last week, my husband, at least, I think he's on Saturday, Yes, the Bible says in Mark 16, verse 20, 